tuned in to the Brother Love Show, the best podcast on YouTube. Please, 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 some blessed Brother Love Show family. You know, I always try to find some for us. Try to find a little tidbit of information that we, you know, you over here that we could use. So I want you to just check this quick article out, man. Listen to what they got to say, right quick. This is something that I want everybody to check out. All right, let's go. Friday evening apocalyptic news dump. Scientists have created living robots that can reproduce. National Review. Ah, Friday evening. A time when, even though the news may continue, many people stop paying attention to it as they accept the relief offered by a weekend to turn inward toward their own recuperation, recreation, or other aspects of their personal lives. As such, it is often a time taken advantage of by media outlets seeking to bury bad news amid the collective disengagement of the news-consuming population. Today, thanks to me, National Review will be one of those outlets to relate a development from the world of science, though a development that, in truth, emerged earlier this week. Apparently, scientists have created what CNN calls the first living robots, and recently discovered that this dubious spawn is capable of a kind of reproduction. From the story The U.S. scientist who created the first living robots say the life forms, known as xenobots, can now reproduce and in a way not seen in plants and animals. Formed from the stem cells of the African clawed frog, Xenopus lavis, from which it takes its name, xenobots are less than a millimeter, 0.04 inches, wide. The tiny blobs were first unveiled in 2020 after experiments showed that they could move, work together in groups, and self-heal. Wow, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Now, tell me that ain't now straight out of a science fiction movie, people. Listen to what they just said. Let's finish this article. They can move, they can reproduce. Computers can reproduce and do their own shit. They just said it right here. Listen. Now the scientists that developed them at the University of Vermont, Tufts University, and Harvard University's Weiss Institute for Biologically Inspired Engineering said they have discovered an entirely new form of biological reproduction different from any animal or plant known to science. Do you hear that? Did you hear what they just said? So they got a whole new way of making a living entity. This is the beginning of the end right here, people. Think about what they're saying. This is crazy. I was astounded by it, said Michael Levin, a professor of biology and director of the Allen Discovery Center at Tufts University who was co-lead author of the new research. Frogs have a way of reproducing that they normally use, but when you liberate the cells from the rest of the embryo and you give them a chance to figure out how to be in a new environment, not only do they figure out a new way to move, but they also figure out apparently a new way to reproduce. Oh, good. Another set of scientists scientists so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. So now we have xenobots who can self-replicate. But don't worry, we are assured. The utmost precautions are being taken. Oh, thank goodness. I am so relieved. It's not like there are any recent examples of experts getting something wrong or things escaping from a lab. I'm sure we'll be just fine. Unless the supervolcano or the asteroids get us first. Wow, the Xenobots. You heard it here first, people. They, they, they release this type of stuff on Fridays when they know nobody's listening. They said it at the beginning of the article. They tell you the things that they have to reduce. They always do the data dumps on Friday, people. So if you really want to know what's going on, actually, you can just really look. On, you can look at the news on Friday because they got to do their retractions and they got to dump stuff like this so the people don't pay attention. This is bad news right here. Xenobots is bad news. They can recreate themselves. They can reproduce themselves, people. Think about that. They can reproduce themselves. This is straight out of a Marvel magazine, Brother Love Show. You're tuned in to the Brother Love Show. The best podcast on YouTube.